Again, step, kick, step, kick, sick, kick, step. Again, I'm just, I'm singing the opening number to a chorus line. If you didn't already uh, know about that, it's what I'm doing. Uh, let me put a, let me go away. I'm still here. I'm muting, I'm muting, I'm muting, I'm muting. And I'm back. Hello, everybody. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hello. My name is Ali Ramirez, and this is Please Talk to Me with Ali Ramirez, a talk show where you can be the guest. I have a couple topics I like to start the conversation with, and then after that, it's really who wants to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, during quarantine, I found myself uh, at home with all of my children. I have two children. They're twins. They're five. So you can imagine what our conversations are about. A lot of Iron Man. A lot of Hot Wheels, a lot of Mario, tons of Mario. I'm never sick of Mario. I, of course, I am talking about Mario Mario and his brother, Luigi Mario, in case you didn't already know that. So I started this show uh, Thursdays at 10 p.m. to talk to you, uh, whoever wants to talk. If you want to talk, I am available. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's a little crazy right now, I think. Um the world is getting back into place and the world is not getting back into place. <laughs> so it's it's kind of, uh, it's an interesting dynamic that we're all kind of dealing with, I think, as we get back to a normalization or whatever normal means to you. Um, just looking at my in Instagram, my Facebook. Oh, I'm sorry for yawning. I am, I am tired, tired for so many reasons. Partly because the world is kind of getting back to a normalcy. So that means going into the office more and doing more work. And my kids are out in playgrounds and doing summer camps. So that takes a lot of work. Even though my kids are not at home, it still takes a lot of work. Um, and just kind of the general disposition of the world, too. A lot of big stories happened this week, um, both with celebrities and um, both with... Uh, the court system. We're always listening to celebrities in court system. Doesn't it feel that way? Our life. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will not go on for the rest of the show because that is rude. It's very rude and I'm sorry because you took the time to watch and listen and input and I'm yawning. So you're not boring. You are fantastic. Doing a great job. I have to tell you, though, uh, at this present moment, I've been in this show for about two minutes, and nobody's here yet, which is totally cool. It's some people are flop in, flop out, and I'm doing a pretty good job of entertaining myself. So if I've learned anything during quarantine, it's entertaining myself. Uh, so tonight I wanted to start off with uh, right, normacy, talking about how we are definitely getting back to a routine. Oh, I yawn again. Oh, my God. Talking about normacy is making me yawn. It's making me so tired. The idea of getting back to what normal is is exhausting me, which is entirely my point. I'm exhausted. I'm so burnt out. Um, I'm trying to maintain a household and my sanity and my relationship and my children's health and my health and my dog's health, and my cat's health, and it's everyone's health, and I'm just so tired and burnt out. Um, I have a podcast. I have a, it's called First Time Parent Podcast, where I, I speak to different parents of all different backgrounds, and just kind of talk about what they're going through, and, and know that somebody else is going through it as well, you know, shared experiences, and I love the interview part. I love doing it, but it's it, it's exhausting. It's exhausting, and it's really draining on me to be consistent with it weekly. So I have to take a step back. I have to do podcasts in seasons. You know, I I have to do you know a three month stint, then take a break because I I just I can't. I I I literally am running out of time at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> there's been a couple times this week where I I sat down to like just to sit down, just to sit down and kind of scroll through the phone. And I passed out. I was so tired. My body just it was forcing me to go to sleep. And it's, I know that I'm, I'm spreading myself too thin. I know it. Um, I've even thought about this show. Like, is this show worth me keep doing it every Thursday? Cause it, it, you know, 
I don't want to take away somebody else's time slot if, if they would like the opportunity to perform and get out there. But also, it's another thing I have to do. It's another exhausting thing. And just because something is exhausting doesn't mean I don't love it or don't enjoy it. But right, it's it's balancing, it's balancing the the balance. No, that's terrible. It's balancing your life and what you need to do that keeps you happy and healthy. I, I know that if I didn't perform sketch or if I didn't have a show, then I would I would feel like I'm losing something. I would feel like I'm not performing or not growing or not continually to work on myself because performing in my opinion I'm I'm sure I read this in a book or <laughs> in a book uh or I read it somewhere or I learned it somewhere but performing is is uh, it's a muscle right I mean I, I don't think it's like riding a bike though I haven't ridden a bike in a while so I don't even know if riding a bike is like riding a bike um it's I think it's different for everybody, but but it's a muscle. You have to keep training it. You have to keep working it. And even though you can take some time off, uh, time off from anything is also helpful because right, you get a new perspective on it. But you need to keep working in some capacity. And fortunately, with online, um, me, you know, social media is Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Uh, it's set up so that you can continue performing. You can keep making characters. You can keep doing bits. Um, and try not to worry about people liking it, but you want people to like it, but you also can't care if people like it. So that's a weird uh, balance as well with social media. Uh, but yeah, I th I've thought about it for this show. Like, is this something that I do want to walk away from? Or do or because I, I, I will say that the conversations that I've had uh, with this group has been great. I mean, laughing to my sides, her uh, learning new information um, it's really fun. Yeah, no, I, I'm not going to give this up. It's too much fun. And even the days where I'm not talking to anybody, it's still nice to talk and get something out there. Uh, also, it's helpful. It has been fun. Thank you, ice cream. It's very fun. Um, it's, uh, it's also helpful, too, in this type of setting to help keep my thoughts straight. Because sometimes, uh, I I saw a meme the other day that was like, and I don't think it was meant to be a sexist meme. Like, I don't think it was like a men versus woman. It just, this is how the, the meme was structured. It was like, my husband tells a story in six minutes. I, the wife, tell the same story, but it's going to take 19 minutes. We're going to reroute three times. I'm going to add 10 facts that you that have nothing to do with it. But at the end, you'll still be laughing. Which I feel like is my brain sometimes. It, it scatters. It scatters sometimes or I get sidetracked. So the fun part about this show too is it kind of helps me. Like an improv. Like you have to kind of train your mind to go a certain path. That's what I'm saying. But it has been fun. Thank you, Ice Cream Cone. It has been very fun. Um, I've learned some very silly things. And uh, I always keep tabs open of all the things that I need to look up later in the week. And um, yeah, it's really great. Uh, it's also nice, too, because I don't always have the time to look up pop culture references or, like, I know some stories that happen in the news, but not everything. So this is actually kind of a cool check-in. It's like, what happened this week? What is, what's big happening in your life that I don't know about or I do know about? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's something I would miss, you know? It's something I would miss, so... Uh, I'm not planning on leaving the show anytime soon or, or changing it or I don't even know. I don't know what's happening, right? Like I said, we're, I think we're all just trying to figure out, you know, it, it, what, is it this way or is it how, is it walk like this? Like it, there's so many little things that are coming back to normacy, go back to normacy. Uh, I did want to start today's topic. Uh, the topic I had out on Facebook uh, for the Pack Theater was uh, what is – uh, your dream vacation. Um, obviously, the world is opening up again. And I know that's a very weighted statement. Uh, but definitely travel and visiting people is on everyone's mind. We've been home for so long. Um, I'm, I'm super excited. I have a, a trip next week. Um, I don't want to tell you because I don't, I really don't like posting where I'm at when I'm there because I, I don't know, I don't think anyone's stalking me, but just to be safe, I, just, I like to give a day buffer, you know, give myself a little range. 
Uh, but I'm very excited next week. I'm going to um, to the Madonna Inn, which is in San Luis Obispo, which is an incredible hotel where every room is completely different. Uh, I'm going with my brother and my cousin, and we're literally... <laughs> it's funny to me because the Madonna Inn is like this really quirky, uh, over-the-top hotel in San Luis Obispo. You can look it up, Madonna Inn, like Madonna, Madonna, material girl. And uh, usually people go as like couples or like like a girl's trip, uh, but I'm going with my, my brother and my cousins because uh, we're going to do a game night. <laughs> like we're going to bring our switches and we're going to play Mario Party 50 turns and uh, we're definitely going to get an escape room, probably two escape rooms up on the way up there and on the way back and just hang up by the pool. You know, I'm sure I'm sure we'll have a card game or something dumb to do. But it's truly just like a relaxing time with my, my cousins and my and my brother, like an adult just game night at a, a nice hotel. Um, oh, I heard I heard noise and uh, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't uh, my dog or cat in trouble. Yeah, Mario Party 50 turns that will take forever. Uh, it has taken forever. I've done it before. Uh, I did it on. It must have been the Wii. And it did, it takes, it's about an hour per 10 turns. So it, it takes five hours. Um, when I did it, when I did it, I did it with my brother and the two of our friends. And this was, this was a long time ago. This was, this, was this, no, it must've been the we, must've been the first we. Yeah. And we did it. Um, and like dummies, we started it at like 10 PM. Like we started the game very late because we just didn't fully comprehend that it was going to take so long so by like two in the morning 2 30 when we have like five turns left like you're at that point we we're so and we we're i think i think my brother was underage and he's not he wasn't he, he drinks now but he wasn't really a, he definitely wasn't a big drinker in his 20s and he definitely wasn't a drinker underage so we're like we're sober at 2 2 30 a.m so exhausted literally just like oh fine I don't care play like we're so exhausted just to get the game over with because we'd already committed to it and we were going to finish it I don't remember who won I don't remember I just remember that last hour being really hard so this time when we do 50 turns we'll we'll start it earlier or maybe we won't I don't know I'm going on vacation I have no kids I'm the kid now <laughs> I'm the kid now that's a funny meme I just thought about the the movie with Tom Hanks. Is it Tom Hanks that's in that movie? Oh, now I gotta look it up. The movie where I'm the captain now. It's like, I'm the captain now. Nope. Oh, apparently I'm the captain now is also a song. Ca Ca yes, Captain Phillips. Is that the name of the movie is Captain Phillips? Man. Oh, yeah, it was. Ca I, I didn't see Captain Phillips. Um, I'm not a big fan of high anxiety stressed out movies it's not my cup of tea um not at all have i ever done mario called beer edition hold on everyone shut it down whatever i was talking about before it doesn't matter we're getting back into the comments this is why comments are so important you, you guys make it way more interesting than what i do okay have you ever done mario kart beer edition everyone has a beer must finish it before racing the race. The catch is when you're holding the beer, you must put down the controller. I have not played this. I have heard of this, though. Um, I have not. I guess we'll have to do that, too. We, yeah, we'll have switches. We'll have, we'll have to do that. Because this is, again, a drinking adult game night. Because I won't have kids. And for the record, I don't mind drinking with my kids. Or, like, drinking at home with my kids. The problem is, if I drink, I... It's the next morning that's harder as as a parent. Like at nighttime, it's like yeah, great, play games. We're, we're you know we're drinking, we're all laughing. You guys go to bed, and then mom and dad stay up too late and drink. And then in the morning, that's when it sucks because kids wake up at like six, sober and ready to play. And if you have a hangover, it's just the worst. So I don't mind having a drink at home, but I really don't like to like in, I don't like to get like wasted if I know I'm going to be with my kids in the morning. And I'm with my kids in the morning. I don't know, 363 days out of the year. I mean, truly, um, obviously not during quarantine. I was with them all the time. Um, I do want to play Mario Kart Beer Edition. I will do that, and I will have to film that. And and just, yep. Also, if you're looking for the bathrooms, uh, you need to head out to the building and go in the next door all the way to the back. Oh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm yawning again. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been yawning. It's only 10, 15. I'm, I'm just, I'm so exhausted. I'm so burnt out. Life is exhausting right now. And here's the crazy thing. Before quarantine, this was all the same stuff I was doing. I just, like, my threshold is lower or my anxiety is higher or maybe I'm just getting older. Like, maybe it's just an age thing. I don't know, but I'm definitely more tired right now. I, that's not true. I, I, it's because we're switching over from being quarantined to living in real life. And that's just, it's exhausting. It's exhausting to, to still kind of be on your guard and have your mask, but still you're not sure. And it, it's, it does, it feels, it's exhausting. So that's why I've been yawning. Cause I'm just, I'm burnt. I'm burnt out, man. Uh, I don't even have 4th of July plans. Do you have 4th of July plans? Huh? 4th of July plans, anyone? I mean, is that even a holiday anymore? I'm kidding. It's totally a holiday. But is it? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I have no 4th of July plans. Um, just it, It's not that it is important. It's just like everything I'm like, oh, I don't want to spend. Like, for example, we, we thought about going to Legoland to do 4th of July. And now I'm like, oh, you had them, but sadly you have to work now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no fun. I When I used to work in theme parks and and yeah, when you lose those, oh, yeah, that's the worst. Where do you work? Can I ask? Donde esta tu? I don't know what work is in Spanish. Work. And that is the most Spanish. You'll get out of me. Um, oh, you're in a laser tag arena? Oh, I, well, you, you probably, mm, you're probably busy in the morning, huh? Busy in the morning and then it'll. I'm assuming people will then leave you alone later so that they can go do fireworks. That's cool, though. I do like laser tag. I think my kids are big enough now to, like, where I can, like, beat them. That's exciting. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, we were going to do Legoland, but it's so expensive. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to spend that much money. <laughs> it's fine, guys. We have Legos at home. Oh, uh, you plan on being really busy. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's that's the other thing too is I I think it anywhere we go on Fourth of July is going to be busy because we also thought about going to a water park, raging waters, but I'm like it's going to be busy, right? Because everybody else is in town. Like I don't I don't I again it's so odd with the year that we had last year because I don't know if all these people are going out of town or if they're staying in town or like even now there are some days where we have a lot of traffic. And I'm like, okay, this is normal. And then some days where we have no traffic. And I'm like, th it, the predictability is just gone. Um, yeah. I can, again, I could see going to laser tag before before the, the going home, eating some hot dogs. I'm not yawning. Damn. Jeez Louise. Yeah, my body's just like, go to sleep. What are you doing? Go take a shower. I should definitely take a shower. Uh yeah, yeah. Honestly, that's half the reason why I didn't make plans for Fourth of July. Just kind of staying home. Like it, it yeah. I might go to my aunt's house because they can do fireworks at their at their home legally. They can do fireworks. Uh, but I'm also fine if we just stay home. Uh, is there is there some fireworks show on TV? Isn't that a thing that they do that? Doesn't Dick Clark have a rockin? <laughs> <laughs> Dick Clark's presents Rock and Fireworks. I don't know. Um, I don't think he does. He should though. I'd I'd watch it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll probably just watch a movie. I don't even know. Actually, I've been trying. My kids don't watch um, uh, live action movies. Live like they don't really watch live action movies, and they don't watch any live action superhero movies. But they like superheroes. Like they're really into Spider Man, uh, some cartoons, and they're into Lego Spider Man, Lego Batman. And uh, I'm like, okay, guys, so like we should watch something. We should watch Spider Man, or we should watch Iron Man, or Avengers, something. And they're just like, no. So yeah, the ghost of Dick Clark hosted a rock and roll drive. Oh, I forgot he died. <laughs> Uh, but yes, the ghost of Dick Clark has a rockin' 4th of July bash. It would have to be more remedial than that. Like, not even a 4th of July bash. It would have to be like, Dick Clark hosts your Labor Day, <laughs> your, your Labor Day 
celebration brought to you by Lowe's. Like that's that's what I'd watch. Oh man. Uh, Dick Clark, he had a radio show in L.A. He was he was the bees, man. He was the bees knees. You know, Tupac style. Yes, it would be a Tupac style hologram. Absolutely, it will be. Yep. And it and it starts off in like. <laughs> oh, Dick Clark. He did have. I mean, he obviously was a personality, like 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 any other. I mean, he to 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 be a host. That essentially launched the idea of a host, you know, launched the Ryan Seacrests and the other people. <laughs> uh, man, that would be crazy. Yeah, holograms are crazy to me. Like, the technology is there. Why don't we use it more? Right? I mean, it's there. They use it for, like, special big concerts. Why are... The government has to be using it in other ways, right? Like, they're using it in a much more... I was going to say a vindictive way, but that's not the word I want. I don't know. It just seems silly to me that they would have the access to holograms and they're just wasting it on Tupac. Not that that's a waste. It's just, you know, level of importance. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but I am very tired. Yeah. Very tired. Losing steam. So another reason why this weekend is just like, you know, let's just hang out. <laughs> go Go through some toys. Go through some clothes. Play some Mario Party. Mario, Mario Kart beer edition. Man, that's good. That's good. Yep. And as long as you're all as long as you're all holding the same beer, it should be fine, right? Cuz it's right, one can of beer, right? I'm assuming that's like a that's like a uh beer pong kind of beer like you don't want to get the heavy stuff, you want to get like a Miller Lite or Can I say Miller Lite on this channel? I did. I can, obviously. Um oh man, good times. Oh, Dick Clark, holograms. I'm trying to think what the next step is from here. Ryan Seacrest, American Idol. America's Got Talent. Those are all shows. Yeah, the cheap stuff, yeah. Those natty lights, that's what I think of when I think cheap stuff. Nat natty lights. Oh, I saw that um, Mike's Hard Lemonade is back. Like they ha or maybe, it's never, maybe it's never been gone, to be fair. And uh, we should all play Flesh and Frenzy. Oh, well, got to click on this. <laughs> There's a link in the chat, everybody. Click it. Very important. Oh, my God. I've seen this. So what I'm looking at is a board game called Flesh and, Flesh and Frenzy. And it's... <laughs> it's a game... Where there's a little toilet. I hope yeah. I hope it provides its own toilet because that'd be a different game. And the there's poop in it, and there's a little plunger. Oh yeah, toilets included. And you have to plunge, and the person that pops the poop out is the winner. Should they be the winner? Yeah, I guess they would be the winner. Uh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I've also seen a game. Oh, look at it real quick. I've also seen a game where. You uh, step on poop, <laughs> and it's a yes. This is it. It's a preschool game. Just, just you know. What? Oh wow! I have to verify my identity with Walmart to keep my account safe. Wow, they are. They know how to beat the robots. <laughs> no Terminator in our life. It's not gonna happen. You know why? Because we have to find how many light signals there are. You have to, you have to, okay, hold on, hold on, ice cream. You have to grab the poop, so you have to plunge it, and then you have to swipe? I mean, okay. If I'm being honest, I touch a lot of poop daily, so that's not really that big of a deal for me, but I don't know how you can handle it. Uh, the poop pops up, and you go, go. <laughs> the poop pops up and then you go all go up for the poop in midair to me i thought that was like it sounded like one of those warm-up words the poop pops up but then you all go for the poop in the midair the poop pops up and then you pooped out to pop that poppity poop uh yeah that game is delightful uh, i just added another game that shows again don't step on it which is where you are blindfolded and you get it looks like brown play-doh and you make 
little Play-Doh, a little Play-Doh poops on like a green uh, mat and you're blindfolded so you have to walk through it without stepping on the poop. So that's actually a good lesson. Tip of the tip of the tongue top of the poop. <laughs> yep, that's it. It's, exa it's exactly how my voice and movement uh, coach taught me in college. Yep, thank you, Joan Milton. She's a real person. Uh, tip of the tongue top of the poop. Yeah, poop games, man. I, to be fair, though, my kids had a game called uh, Pull My... Oh, I think it was called Pull My Finger. Uh, it finally broke because we pulled it too much. Yeah, pulled it way too much. And it's, uh, <laughs> oh, man, I got to move my computer so I can do this a little better. It's, uh, yeah, there it is. It's a, it's a game where there's a monkey and you literally have to pull his finger. Like you, you spin it three times, he pulls his finger times, and his butt gets bigger, bigger, bigger. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't think I can put this photo there. Nope, of course not. Nope, of course not. Uh, but that's also a really fun game. And my kids thought it was hilarious when the monkey farted. So, eventually his butt popped out. Like, it just couldn't go in. But it was it is a very fun game. Um, I have little ones. Have you brought them a poop seat? I have little ones. I do. Five years old. Have you brought them a poopsie surprise? What is a poopsie surprise? What does that mean? Oh, God. They brought me the popsy? Pop. I want to say popsy or popsicle, but that's not what the word is. The word is poopsy. Poopsy. Have I brought them a poopsy surprise? <laughs> I wish, buddy. No. Uh, you have to clarify. Uh, they have poop. They poop a lot. I mean, they're, they're five-year-old kids. Um, like I said, I've seen a lot of poop in my life. More poop than I care. No, no. I Actually, I... I I retract that. I, I'll talk about it. I've touched I've picked up some poop. Splattered it down. It's a unicorn that shits rain. Oh, man. This, this show is blowing my mind. It's a unicorn that shits rainbow, sparkly, turns into a toy toilet. I do not know what that is. What is happening? What is happening in the world? Poopsie surprise. Ah. What? What am I looking at? It's poop. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a poopsy slime surprise. It's oh, sorry. It come. I got it. Okay, so it's slime. It's slime. But to, in order to market it to girls, they've called it a poopsie slime surprise because it's glittered because only unicorns can make glitter poop. I got it. And then there's obviously unicorns. Oh, so you can make it. What? You can make it. You can make the poop supplies. What is happening? to the world. I mean, I guess, I guess I'm for it because we're telling girls, you can be disgusting too. I like how we're not making boys cleaner. We're just like, you girls can be disgusting too. And I stand by that because I'm disgusting. Oh, I'm going to click your links. Oh, oh, okay. So the link that's on there is this, it has the, it, <laughs> it has, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's. I'm looking at a unicorn. I, oh man. Okay. How do I? How do I get this happening? I I gotta figure out how to do this better. I'm looking. I'm looking at a unicorn. A little girl unicorn that has a crop top and is like in like like booty shorts. Not shaming. Not shaming. That's how. That's how she wants to dress. That's her choice. I believe in you. Um. But she's a sassy little unicorn, and she has a little toilet because that girl's got a poop, and then they and a Slurpee, which, as we all know, just helps further along the poops. And then there's materials so that you can make her poop, which is the slime surprise. Wow, this is oh, excuse me, turds. I'm sorry, sorry. 
Sparkly turds. Oh, I see. Sparkly turds and toy. Uh, toy to, we're teaching kids to have a very, very odd kink. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm watching the video now. It's a unicorn demo. Again, this crop top on this on this outfit. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. So now I see the... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm watching the YouTube without volume so it doesn't jump on my feed. And I just saw like a little girl like, here's this unicorn and here like little jazz hands oh and i'm sorry she's not wearing booty shorts she's wearing a diaper because she's a child i think she's a child unicorn i don't know anyway so they're showing me how to do it you open up her back like like a and there's a little tube oh, okay it's very well designed thank you oh there got it oh push the tube back in got it yeah Good hand model. Good hand model. If you get into it, it's good money. Oh, she got a towel. Okay, this video is four minutes and 37 seconds. Why is it taking so long to explain this? I mean, she's pooping. Oh, and now they're showing us the unicorn shimmer. That's how you... Oh, and then... And then oh, in the back, you tell her if she's eating or rocking. Oh, man. Someone put a lot of effort into this. Oh, Oh, you feed her. Oh, got it. You feed her. So it's it's set up in the back. It's like there's like a tray inside of her. And then you feed her the unicorn glitter, shimmer. Oh, you also give her water. She's big, actually. Compared to the hand, she's like that big. I mean, I guess she'd have to be in order to. Oh, and unicorn food. More hands, more hands. Okay, I'm just going to skip a little bit because we, we get it. She's going number two. Oh, she told me that she's going number two because she put a little... Um, she put the two thing. Yep. Oh, and then she gets a Slurpee from. Oh, and then you. Oh, you push your little belly button in, and now she's going in. Oh, and then she has a toothbrush. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so then you have to take out the jar in the back and scrape out. This is weird. You scrape out the powder and the water that you've mixed inside her body. And, oh, man, this is very complicated. I don't, why can't you just put a powder? Oh, and then it becomes slime. I miss, I must have missed something. Unicorn slime. Oh, that, okay, so after, oh, God. So after you give her that tiny little bit of water and that tiny little of gel, you take out in her body the little bit of slime, and then you add it to the bigger amount of slime that you have to make. I don't think you need to put the slime in. I mean, I guess you can. Ugh, what do kids like to do? I don't even know. This is not upsetting it's not the word but it's like you said we're teaching kids to have a very odd uh kink glitter uh ladies and gentlemen if you're just joining this is please talk to me Thalia Ramirez. there's a lot of links uh that you need to click on if you need these links let me know because we just saw i would say the top pooping games in the industry i mean i asked for the best and i got the best uh we <laughs> oh my god there's a there's a doll, there's a unicorn doll where you make glitter poop. Glitter turds, sparkly turds, sparkly turds. I don't want to be insulting to the turd. Um, that is something. I, I, it's not what I played with as a kid. I played with my brother's Ninja Turtles and a Jasmine doll. Because my parents didn't give me a Barbie doll, they just got me a Princess Jasmine doll. So she wasn't pooping. I mean, I, th I think I might have missed out on something. Maybe that's why I'm so comfortable with poop now, you know? It didn't scare me off as a kid. I feel like that's all this is going to do is just scare kids off of poop. I don't know. So ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I My brain is racked. I, I, I truly don't know where to go after this because uh, it's poop. It's sparkly poop. Slime. Someone thought of this and then someone like, said, yeah, Gary, 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 you magnificent creature, you unicorn of marketing, you unicorn of all men, you've created the greatest toy in the world. Girls can now enjoy their poop just like boys. And then he took out a bunch of glitter and threw it in Gary's face. Um, God. Uh, <laughs> back to the chats. Do you remember that toy from like the 90s? You would stick a man onto your car window and when you squeeze a little pump, he would drop his pants and move people. Oh my God! I do remember that! 
I do remember that little man. God. Uh, man. Oh, how do you... Uh, I'm trying... On window 90s that drop pants. It's there are things in life that are always scary to Google because you just never know. Oh my God! Yes, you just never know where. Oh, I think he was a pig. Is he a pig or a man? I think I had the pig version because I remember the yeah because there's like a little tube. Oh man. This is kind of the best I can get on this one. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I do remember this guy. His name was, Lo- his name was Looney's, Looney's Mooning Novelty Toy. Well, that's one of them. One of them was Looney's Moonies. That, that's one. This man looks a little bit, uh, it's on Pinterest. His potato head, bungee, bungee, bungee car. It looks like there's been a, there's a couple of them. Oh, that's on eBay. Oh, I don't want to buy these guys. I don't want to buy them. I don't want to buy them. Uh, oh, did you find it? Of course you found it. Nope, it's forbidden. I got the 403 forbidden when I clicked on your link. Um, I do remember that guy. I, I think I, again, I think I remember him as a pig. I think it was a pig. Moonies. Is it called Moonies? Nope, that's a unification church. Don't click on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, father, son, like uh, Mo- Moonies. I don't remember this. I, I, this is what I'm going to add to the link, but I don't think this is it. They're called Moonies. Okay, they, wait, this. They are called Moonies. Yes. Okay. I don't remember his face liking like that though. I thought it was like a pig. Um. But maybe I just remember it differently. Maybe I just like, oh, that man's mooning people. He must be a pig. <laughs> no. Uh, Moonies. Good call. Good call. I think it was World Life. You always come in with the facts, true facts of everything. Um, man, this show started off talking about, I'm not even sure what we started talking about, normalcy, and now uh, <laughs> climate change was for different Moonies. <laughs> Oh, man. Yep. Yep. Climate change was worth it for Moonies. Let's bring back Moonies. Why Why is there not more Moonies? That's that's what I want to see. I want to see America's next top Moonies. That's what I want to see. I want to see. I want. <laughs> uh, somebody can take that sketch idea. If not, I might take that sketch idea. Uh, America's, got, America's next top Moonies looking for the next Moonies model. These people must compete. Yeah. That's funny. Maybe it's just in my head. We want to make a small version of you to put in car windows. But do you have what it takes? Do you have the look of guilt sass, slash satisfaction over the shoulder look? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see in this season of do you want to be the next Moonies? Gosh, she would host that. Oh, the big butt. I know Kim Kardashian's the first choice, but she's busy. You know, she's got a lot to do. So I guess it's still Tyra Banks. Just give it to her. Let her work. Let that woman work. I recently watched her in an episode of Hot Wings. Nope. Is that what it's called? I never remember what it's called. Hot Wings. Mm, nope. Not Rio. What is it? It's not Hot Wings. Oh, it is called Hot Wings Challenge. Hot Ones. Hot Ones. Um, there's a show called Hot Ones, if you're not familiar with this YouTube sensation. Uh, it's also on Hulu. And, uh, yes, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. See, why do I... How, everyone knows this but me. <laughs> yes, Hot Ones. Um, I, saw an ep- I saw her episode. I saw Tyra Banks' episodes. And uh, she's funny. I, I, I think she's, you know lived a very different life than me and has a very different lifestyle, but I very much enjoyed her, um, her episode. She really went for it and she's, she's obviously a very smart woman. Um, the host is one of the best interviews. Yeah. The host is amazing. Um, yeah, he's, he's fantastic. That, that host of hot ones. Um, he's so good. Is he doing anything else? What else does he do? 
What else does he do? It's on True TV. Ah, it's on True TV. I see it on Hulu and YouTube, so I didn't know what it was on. Um, he really is. Oh, wow, there's a Hot Ones, a game show now, and now he ho- owns the game show? Whoa, is that a new thing? Oh, man. Maybe. He's great, though. I don't even know his name. I'm trying to find his name, and of course, it's not popping up, and now I'm being a bad host because I don't know the host name. That should be like a thing. I should know all of them. Game show is very bad. Oh, well. Yeah, I was just, I didn't realize it was a game show. I'm looking it up now. Um,. Oh, and their own sauces. The game shows are oh, good for him. Good for him. Sean something. Yeah, Sean something. Here, I'll just look it up. Host of Hot Ones. There's also a board game of Hot Ones, and it comes with the Hot Ones sauce. Sean Evans. That's his name. Sean Evans. I will remember that, Sean Evans, because you are two years younger than me as an American YouTuber. I like it. I like it, Sean Evans. Um, he is so good at interviewing, uh, not even including the added wing portion to it, but he really is good. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Mango hot sauce they made a few years ago is pretty good. Oh, okay. Oh, God, hot sauces. True TV said they will pay you a lot of money to do an awful hacky game show and spin off of Wiz World on CS, of course. Yeah, of course. You, ha- you, you have to do a spin off of, of Wiz World if someone offers you that money. Like, you, you have to do it. Um, and yes, good follow question. What would that show be? I don't know. I don't think like a hack. <laughs> uh, but you could if the money was right. So, oh, there's something loud going on outside. I think it's a helicopter. It's definitely a helicopter. I'm waiting to see the light, right? See how close that helicopter is to me. But now I think it's leaving. It's not odd. It's very odd. I don't usually have helicopters by me. All right. Um, You see some sort of Legends of the Hidden Temple vibe. Ooh, the losers get sent off to the Doom Room. Ooh. Ah, they wouldn't pay for that. You don't know what True TV would pay for. You don't know. Something, Something simple and cheap and funny. That's what they'll pay for. Right? Don't they do um a practical... Practical, practical, impractical jokesters, don't jokers, don't they do that show too? No, am I thinking a different channel? Am I thinking True TV? It needs to be in a room with no set. It has to be cheaper than the grill. <laughs> impractical douchebags. Hell, yeah. I don't watch the show regularly. I have seen episodes. Um, I have a saying in my house. That saying is, "We're gonna go to the garage." That's where me and my husband will go to the garage and get more relaxed. Uh, that show is definitely a after the garage show. Like, oh, I'm in the garage. I got nothing to watch. We'll put this on. Um, and so is Hot Ones, actually. That's usually when I watch. That's when I start binging my Hot Ones is when we go to the garage and then we come back and we're like, what are we going to watch? Well, let's watch Hot Ones because it's always funny. So it's always a good interviewer. We're, we're always laughing. No matter who. I mean, I haven't seen a boring one yet. I've seen less interesting ones, but not completely boring. It's also really well edited, too. Uh, Very important for YouTube. Very important. Like this. Everyone has the attention span of this, which is uh, exciting and also exhausting when you are producing stuff Uh, because you want to keep it exciting for you and for the, the, uh, the viewers. Man, I don't know. It's... It's interesting what cheap is for TV studios because sometimes they put a lot of money into things where I'm like, that's a terrible idea. Though The Bachelor has been on for how many years? 10 years? 12 years? That's a sensation. And I'm sure it's still cheaper than any show they put on <laughs> on ABC. So there you go, folks. There you go. That's that's all I got today. That's all I got today. Um, thank you so much for joining me on Please Talk to Me with Allie Ramirez. This is Thursdays. I'll be here every Thursdays at 10 p.m. to talk to you, to listen to you, to support you, mainly to learn from you. Really, I get most of my information from this uh, this interaction. And then later on, I'll be with my, my husband. And I'll, like, literally the other day, I said something about a pirate. And he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, the greatest pirate ever was a female. You didn't know this? Like, I... <laughs> 
like, like I just didn't learn the information myself. Uh, but it really is. It's very fun to talk to anybody and everybody. And uh, who knows if theaters, I mean, maybe theaters come back. Let us know about the, the bar. I will. I will let you know about the barrio. It's called Barrio Cart? Is that what the, did you just make that up or is that what it's called? For those just checking in, I'm going on a game night hotel adventure with my brother and cousins, and we're definitely playing a 50-turn Mario uh, party. Yeah. And I was reminded about Mario Kart, beer edition, or Barrio Kart. ba 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 barrio I'll work on it. And, uh, sorry, my dog is jumping and missing the couch, so... There's a lot going on right now, and I will let you know how how Barrio Cart goes. Uh, I'm definitely going to do that. Uh, I gotta take more photos. I gotta update that Instagram. Ugh, so much to do. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time, effort, and energy. Uh, please talk to your friends and family. Um, we're also going through it right now. Always checking in is great. Make a joke. Say hi. How you doing? Or maybe don't. I don't know what you're doing, but uh, please talk to your friends and family if you so if you want to. Um, and if you're available at Thursdays at 10 p.m., please talk to me. I'm Allie Ramirez. This is Please Talk to Me, and have a great night. Bye-bye.